Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Varshala. This is a session 8 question of 2023 June and this is our question ID. So let us now try to solve this problem. Uh, consider R with the usual topology and then which of the following assertion is correct. Uh, see here four options are uh, given and only option 2 will be right and 1, 3 and 4 will be false. So first we will uh, discuss that how why 1, 3 and 4 are false and then we will uh, see that how why 2 will be right. So to prove this uh, we need to note that uh, any T1 uh, topology on any finite set will be equal to the discrete topology. So let us first prove that result. So I am saying that if x is any finite set and tau is a topology on x such that tau is t1 then tau will be equal to the discrete topology on x. See first we know that there is a result uh, which is a if and only if criteria for to be t1 that any topology for any topology tau is t1 if and only if every singleton set every singleton set in x is closed. That means for any x belongs to x, singleton x is a closed set. Thus, it will imply that every finite set is closed. It will imply that every finite set in x is closed. Why? Because if we take A any finite set, then we can express A as the union of singleton elements of this set, x belongs to A and all these singleton members are closed and since this is finite union of closed set, uh, it will be closed. So we have that our topology tau is T1 if and only if every finite set in x is closed. Now see that if we take x a finite set x a finite set and tau a topology on x which is t1 we now prove that tau will be equal to the discrete topology on x. So to prove this we need to prove that all sets are open sets. So suppose a, since x is finite we can see x as x1, x2 dot dot xn and take any uh, uh, xi belongs to x and first we now prove that this is an open set. This is an open set. We will prove that this singleton xi belongs to tau. So for this consider the set x1, x2 dot dot x i minus 1 x i plus 1 up to x n that means actually this is x minus singleton x i. So clearly this x minus singleton x i is finite set because x is finite and we now prove that we have just proved that every finite set is closed. So this x minus singleton x i is closed and hence its complement that means singleton xi is open. So this belongs to tau and exactly in a similar manner all the singleton sets of x are open and hence any set any subset of x is open because if we take any uh, uh, subset a of x then we can express a as union of singleton members 
x belongs to a and also we know that five uh, arbitrary union of open set is open so since all these singleton sets are open a will be open and we have taken a an arbitrary subset of x so what we prove that any subset of x is open so uh, this tau becomes equal to tau d discrete topology on x so any uh, t1 topology on any finite set will be equal to the discrete topology now see the options one a finite set containing 33 elements has at least three different Hausdorff topologies Hausdorff topology means t2 topology so since uh, this is a finite set and if we take any Hausdorff topology on this set then that topology uh, must be T1 and hence that topology will be equal to the discrete topology on that set. So there cannot be uh, two topologies, there cannot be two different topologies which are T1 because any topology which is T1 on uh, any set containing 33 elements that will be equal to the discrete topology. So exactly one topology is there which is discrete topology which is T1. Then comes to the uh, option 3. See, let X be a discrete topological space having infinitely many elements and f r to r, uh, f r to x be a continuous function, g x to r be any non-constant function, then the range g composition f contains at least two elements. See, it is very uh, easy to see that this option may not be true because if we define a function f r to x, uh, take any x0 belongs to x be arbitrary and but fixed, then define f a equal to uh, x0 for all a belongs to r, that means f is constant function and define g from x to r by g x equal to say 0 for all x not equal to x0 and uh, equal to 1 if x equal to x0. Now clearly g is non-constant. Now see what will be our g composition f. So g composition f function will be actually from r to r and g composition a f, uh, at a equal to any for any a g at f a and f a will be our x0 for any a belongs to r so g at x0 and that will be our 1 so for any a belongs to r decomposition f a at 1 so range of this decomposition f will be equal to singleton 1 so there exists exactly one element so this set contains at least two elements will be the false option now comes to the point 4 see uh, if a non uh, if a non empty matrix space x has a finite dense subset then there exists a discontinuous function f x to r uh, we now prove that all functions from x to r will be continuous because if we take x a matrix space then x must be t5 so we need only t1 x is t1 so uh, x has a finite dense subset so consider a is that finite dense subset so a is finite and a is dense dense means a bar equal to x and since x is t1 every finite set is closed so a is closed and a equal to a bar so a equal to actually x so x is finite since x is finite and also matrix space so it is t1 so there exists uh, this is actually discrete topology is there and since this uh, discrete topology is there uh, any function from x to r will be continuous so there cannot exist any discontinuous function now we will uh, now see for the option 2 uh, if x is a non empty set with house of topology that means t1 so uh, there is discrete topology and similarly x cross x will be with discrete topology product topology will be discrete topology so any function from x cross x to r will be continuous. So option uh, 2 will be true and others 1, 3, 4 will be false.